What's up, everybody? We are back with Bug Snacks. Uh, I uh, started this, and I was gonna try to catch a praying pacantus because I thought I figured it out. And then, Snoppington. So you slithered back into town, up to another grumpy naughty scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You brother. waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my Can research. Can y'all get the fuck? I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. Ah, uh, interesting. You're doing all right. No, I want, I want Triffany. I want Triffany. Ready to go exploring? Yep. According what? to the journal, this time we're heading for the Boiling Bay. Why does everything happen in the... Okay, Alrighty, whatever. see you there. <laughs> Guess we're doing the Triffany thing. Yep, doing it. Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. Anyway. Uh, feed our palatines. Uh, I'm gonna go... Uh, it's probably gonna be a stick. Let's go oh. right horn. Delicious! You know, Gloomdee's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but... Imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. Okay, but he could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? Uh, I found the treasure. Mm, that settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago, but I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It that we're looking really for is the bones, thing, isn't it? When nobody knows how your story ends. Uh, anything else? I can't find anything. She's not here either. Shh. Oh. I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it um it belonged to my <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladeblog, decided she was uh -huh. gonna explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. Uh -huh. We never heard from her again. Oh, oh, we're kneeling. That's really why I'm out here. To find out oh, what back up. came of her. And the camera's not panning back up. <laughs> Anywho, oh, there it goes. that's all for now. Let's head back to town. What bit you? What? I could have just told her that there was a whatever whatever it's fine anyway i started this episode went to try to catch the um praying picantus and failed miserably uh thought i figured it out i'm gonna try something different but i figured i would go ahead and do that first oh, okay here we go well this ooh, okay okay Hey you, come here. Oh my god, I did it. Holy shit. Holy shit. I finally fucking did it. Oh my god, I finally did it. I've been trying to catch that fucker since like the beginning of the fucking game. Ah! Oh. Did you do it? What? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? Aww. From the heart? Oh, Grandma, you sweet summer child. Aww. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. Why's that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. 
And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. Oh, That's Grandpa. a nice sentiment, darling. Oh, Grandpa, you're the best. I'm gonna go donate this praying picantist. Alright, now it's time for the Scoopy Banoopy. And I don't know where a Scoopy Banoopy is. You again. No, not feed. Talk. Interview. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Um, after the truth. I want to hear from the smartest anyway, grump in town. Insist, I will educate you. BAM! Start interview. Here we go. Who are you? I am Flufty Frizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. Okay. Yeah, what's that? In baby language, you I study fucking... bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. <laughs> Uh, why come here? To study bug snaps, obviously. Uh, but you didn't know what they were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. Oh. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Okay. Uh, what do you think about it? You're asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you. Oh. Emotional parasite. Oh my god. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Don't wave your coconut arm at me. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Fair enough. Uh, is it true that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Mm -hmm. But that's... Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? <sighs> what about Lizbert? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What the fuck? What about Egabel? Yeah. Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who? Yeah. Shelda. That mummified okay. fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Uh, so what happened? Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to <gasps> Agabel's personal storage box. Yes, give it to it me. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Yeah, whatever. Got the key. Oh, shit. <sighs> Another fine day behind us. I don't see any other boxes. Wait, is it this one? Oh shit, it is. Huh. Okay, so we got another video diary. Today is the day I, Elizabeth Megafig, solved the greatest mystery of this island. I found a door near the frosted pit. What could be behind it? I wonder. <sighs> Away from me, Liz! Bill, what are you doing out here? Following you. Did you want to come with me? I thought it might be fun to hunt bug snacks together. I... if that's alright with you. Then it'd be amazing. But maybe not today. This peak isn't for beginners. I've been practicing. I got Chandler to show me the ropes, bro. Bro? Uh, <laughs> very impressive. I didn't know you were working out. I guess it's hard to see my muscles under the bug snacks. You really are changing. Sorry, I was being so selfish. It's okay. I don't want apologies, worrying, any of it. I just want us to be together. Mm. And to see how much you're exaggerating about your dangerous work. <laughs> oh, really? Think it'll be a walk in the park, huh? That's right. And I bet I can even catch more book snacks than you. Woohoo! You're on. Okay, oh, I got an achievement for being a film buff because I watched all the video diaries. What? What could you pop? What are you, what ah, are you doing? You're here. 
I have need of your assistance again. You just... Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. What do you want Put simply, leg? I'm going to remove my head. What? Pardon me, I forgot Come again? limitations. Remove as in cut off. Head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Well, yeah, nobody's gonna... Oh, oh fuck. Ready well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> oh, God. Ask Grumps to help Flifty. Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Um, I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Flufty said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. Oh, are you kidding me, pal? I like my organs where they are. Thank you very much. Probably just gonna do a smash cut of all their reactions here. No, no thanks. That Flufty shows up in my nightmares, always watching me. Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. Why? Is Floofty looking for someone to snack on? LOL, JK, but seriously, no. Oh, well, Floofty's fun to gap with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? What's you, Wambus? No. Hard no. Got it? Cool. Heard? Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. Well. What? I As tried. Expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Does that bother you? Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal, after all. <laughs> well, fully transformed Floofty. This. Yum, yum, yum. Ooh, I love the noodle teeth. I dig it. Okay, I'm going to go catch some more, a couple more bucks next. So I've caught a couple of just, just like some bungers and stuff. I'm going to go back to Snacksburg to fully transform her oh, hello one two three yeah i think that should be enough unbelievable body perfect okay very good you're actually being useful i have a few more preparations I've been to make so useful the experiment will begin in 24 hours oh is that are we jump cutting oh okay oh god patented in Grumpinati traps and made some modifications once the device is activated, the snacks okay, will so flow into my open in. mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. I don't. That's what the experiment is for. I need you Holy to load the funnel shit. at the back, and then we can begin. Oh, God! You put a stop to this nonsense right now! Snobbington, here to sabotage my career again. Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life! Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine, and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Flufty. Aw. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice. What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will Ooh. go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. <gasps> See, this is why nobody wants to help you. Oh my gosh. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snoopy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood. So I lose patience. And I give up on understanding. And perhaps that is cowardice on my part. 
Wow. Holy shit. Oh my gosh, guys. We're so close. We've got to be so close. Oh, so close. Okay. Next time. This is, I'm going to end this one here. This is a little shorter one. That's fine. Uh, next time, we are going to go and look at the Frosted Peak uh, for Lisbert and Agabelle and see what we can find out. Figure out where the fuck a Scoopy Banoopy is, hopefully. Because uh, I have not come across one yet and I don't know where they are. I may have to look that up if I can't find it uh, in this next part. But we will see you next time on Bugsnax. Thank you so much for joining me.